Jonathan from Clever Tiny Homes here as part of our quality build series. And in this video, we're talking about electrical safety. Uh, it's not 1900s anymore. We can build really, really safe electrical systems in our homes, and we really should do that in tiny homes as well. So why am I kneeled down here by the back of the trailer of this tiny home on wheels with this light that's uh, been removed? Well, this is the first part of electrical safety, and it's grounding. So in all the clever tiny homes, if you look inside here, you'll notice that behind this light, we think about grounding. First of all, we connect the ground of the electricity that's coming in to the trailer, and we also run a second ground wire to the roof, which gets connected to the metal roof. So thinking about the grounding of your trailer is a super important part of being electrically safe and making sure those ground wires are run correctly. Now let's go inside and look at the electrical panel itself. While tiny homes on wheels don't technically require the same robustness of wiring that a new house built in 2023 does, uh, we build to residential standards. We build to the National Electric Code, the 2020 National Electric Code. And there's a couple of key things that are part of that. The first, if you look at our circuit breaker box here, it's obviously having the wiring be very clean, have everything being proper labeled, use proper size wires and Romex wires. But the second is the kind of circuit breakers we're using. So wherever appropriate, we are using both AFCI and GFCI circuit breakers. AFCI, basically, if something happens inside the walls and it causes arcing, it's gonna shut that off before you end up getting a fire situation. And GFCI is designed to protect you. So if you plug something in and uh, you know, you've got water, or you're somehow touching it, the appliance is, is old and something's going on, it's gonna protect the person uh, who's plugging it in or who's using that appliance from electrical danger. So we use AFCI and GFCI circuit breakers in our tiny home throughout, and we wire everything like this is a house that's being built to the best quality standards in 2023.